This is Tom Fucolora with Seattle Bike Blog. About 30 people attended Seattle's first Cranksgiving in 2010, donating a couple hundred pounds of food. For Seattle's 10th Cranksgiving in 2019, a record 190 people biked all around town buying food to donate to Rainier Valley Food Bank. Cranksgiving is an extremely low budget event that started in New York in the late 90s and gradually spread throughout the country. When Seattle Bike Blog hosted our first Cranksgiving, there were almost no Cranksgivings in the Pacific Northwest. This year, there was a record 109 Cranksgivings, including Tacoma, Squim, Port Angeles, and a new one in West Seattle. It's basically an alley cat ride, a scavenger hunt by bike in which people get a list of items requested by the food bank and a list of food vendors to buy it all from. The more varieties of food you get, the more places you go, the more points you receive. The average Cranksgiving rider hauled 12 pounds of food, a generous donation to their community. But add all those backpacks and panniers together, and you get more than a metric ton of food. That's the weight of some small cars. Cranksgiving is many things to me. It's a way to create a narrative about the holiday that isn't about pilgrims or shopping. It's amazing what is possible when people work together as a community for their community, even for one day. Thanks to everyone who has joined or sponsored Cranksgiving these past 10 years, and here's to many more.